So this is going to be my post press conference non-biased breakdown and prediction for UFC 272's main event between Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal. So, taking into account the press conference, Colby definitely got under George's skin. George definitely got under Colby's skin. And I think the fight is going to play out somewhat emotional. I don't think it's going to be a huge factor in the fight, but I do see it being a part of the fight in some ways. Now, the way that this fight is going to go is dependent on two factors. One, how well both fighters stick to each other's game plans from the coaches, and how well they deal with holding back emotions and staying patient. Because this fight is going to be determined on who explodes on who and at what time, okay? If one fighter makes a mistake, it's going to cost them the fight, and it may cost them a round. So it's going to start out maybe costing them a round. Then, if it continues, it can lose them the fight. And in this breakdown and prediction, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So, going into this fight, I'm going to break down both game plans. I'm going to break down where I see the fight going. And I'm going to go ahead and give my prediction on it. So, Jorge Masvidal. Obviously, he has coaches that have trained with Colby. They used to train together. They're going to know their strengths and weaknesses. But... Jorge Masvidal, everybody's talking about how, you know, he got slept by Kamaru Usman. I think it was underestimation for Jorge Masvidal. He underestimated Usman, his striking, and he got slept for doing it. And he made a huge mistake. Now, in this fight, he may fight a little bit more cautious. That can go in his benefit if he does. If he hasn't learned his mistake, he's going to learn in this fight because Colby has been throwing very straight punches lately ever since he's gotten shinned twice in the second round since the Usman fight. So Jorge Masvidal needs to learn from this. And if he hasn't, this is going to be a quick fight for him. But overall, I see Jorge Masvidal, like I said, being very patient, waiting for his openings and opportunities, sticking to a very tight game plan that his coaches have given him, um, working on the legs, uh, early, the front leg of Colby, uh, finding those openings to the head when he can find them, uh, and, and trying to work as much body shots as he possibly can land. Um, that is going to be a big thing in this fight. If Jorge Masvidal can start getting those body shots early in this fight, this is going to pay off for him later on into the fight where he could mix it up, go to the body, and then go to the head, kind of like a steep ADC situation. That could happen very well in this fight. Okay, that's Jorge's game plan. Let's talk about Colby. Colby taking Kamara Usman to a five-rounder in his last fight. Very close decision. Um, I thought it was a draw. They gave it to Kamaru. It is what it is. Overall, in that fight, Colby made two big mistakes in the second round. He winded up with really big hooks and got checked with a hook from Kamaru Usman. And Kamaru Usman was able to land the left hook twice and drop Colby twice on that shot. There is going to be a moment in this fight where game bread, where Jorge is going to be able to do that to Colby. And it's going to be up to either Colby and his coaches to see if they work that kink out. If they haven't, this could also be a bad thing for Covington. Because um, that is a major hole, the way that you wind up on that shot and leave your chin very exposed. You're not, you're not moving your feet at the right moment. You can get caught and you can get slept in this fight. And uh, Jorge is a nasty, nasty striker that can initiate that, that type of left hook. So if Colby comes out, recognizes that, closes that opening and focuses on the straight shots. You look at the straight shots that he landed on Usman, gave Usman a lot of trouble. Some of those uppercuts that he likes to mix in there. Um, also hitting uh, Jorge to the body, you know, working his takedowns, working his chain wrestling against the cage. That is Colby's game plan. That's what I see him doing. I see Colby Covington utilizing the same game plan that he used against Tyron Woodley. If you watch the Tyron Woodley fight, 
he's going to be waiting for the overhand or he's going to be waiting for the left hook or right right overhand switch hook from Jorge. He's going to switch underneath that, get to the double leg or single leg, and work the takedown from there. First round, I see both of them coming out and being very, very patient. The second round, I start to see both of them open up. I think Jorge's going to open up a little bit more in the second round. I think Colby is still going to stay a little bit patient because that's just the way he's been fighting lately. And then once he finds that correct time and opening, he is going to explode on Jorge. And Jorge is going to be pushed up against the fence. There's going to be a lot of clinching. It may even look closer to that first Usman Masvidal fight. But Colby is going to have an opportunity in this fight to win by submission in either the third or fourth round, in my opinion. I think he's going to be able to get Jorge Masvidal down. I think he's going to be able to take him down. Um, and I think that he will have that option to get the submission in third or fourth round. However, however, if Jorge Masvidal is tough enough and he's not able to give up those takedowns in those rounds, get those body shots and get those leg kicks early on, and get those dividends that will pay off later in the fight, I see this being a late round finish for Jorge. Or, or third possibility would be this fight goes to a decision, which in my opinion, I am possibly going ahead and changing my prediction from earlier in the week, especially after post press conference, um, where I said Colby by sub in the third round or, or Colby by TKO. I'm now going to go ahead and say that this is going to be a five-round war. I think they're both going to make it to the fifth round, and I think Colby will win by decision. I think the takedowns will go ahead and add up. I think the attempts on the ground and against the cage will start to add up. I think he'll land the cleaner shots, um, you know, straight and otherwise. I think he'll land some body kicks of his own, and I think he will just outpoint Jorge Masvidal, and I think he will win a five-round decision. It's going to be a tough battle overall. I think this will be a tough battle for sure. Um, I think Jorge is going to have his moments in there as well, but overall, I think Colby Covington, five-round decision. He will have a chance to get the submission if if he plays the right game plan and he does everything right. He is able to get the takedown. He will have a chance in this fight to get the submission. And in my head, I don't think Colby is going to go for it. I think he's going to be a little bit more chaotic. And I think that, you know, he's going to see the back. He's going to say, you know what? I could get the rear naked choke right now, but I want to make this guy pay. I want to give the fans a little bit more service. And I think what he's going to do is, is he's going to extend the fight, not go for the uh, sub. And I think he's going to drag it out. That could go in his favor for a decision, or it can go not in his favor and go in Masvidal's column and Masvidal can maybe get a late round finish. But that's what I see happening in this fight, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I upload every week and I will see you guys on Saturday, live fight companion for this. Take care.